Senator Christ, you're recognized. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, uh, Nebraska and colleagues. Um, it is an interesting, a very difficult question, and it is going to result in one or the other, green or red. I would remind you of uh, a dialogue that I tried to have with you on the mic uh, during the actual debate. We are in this position today after having a successful prenatal program for 30 years in this state until the federal government notified us that we were using the wrong color money and they told us how to fix the problem. And it was the executive branch, the governor, the CEO of the Department of Health and Human Services and the Medicaid director, who I'm assuming in concert, made a decision not to fix the problem the way it was suggested, but to make out of this issue an immigration issue. I do not see it as an immigration issue. I see it as a Republican and as a pro-life person. And I don't mean to put any of you off guard, but I believe very strongly, nor do I want to lose my Democratic uh, friend's vote, but I feel very strongly that when I looked at the platform and I became a Republican, I believe in that platform. And I will vote because I've looked in the mirror and I saw Bob Christ. I did not see anyone else. I will vote the way I need to. We believe that good government should guarantee to its individuals equality before the law regardless of race, creed, age, gender, national origin, or income level, and that each person's ability, dignity, and freedom, as well as responsibilities, must be recognized and honored. That is part of the Republican Party platform in the state of Nebraska. What's going to happen when that young lady presents herself for prenatal care? She is going to start in the, the vein of documentation. She has to prove that she's of the 185% poverty level. She has to prove that she needs the care. She identifies herself as an individual in the state of Nebraska who may at that point still be undocumented. But you know what? She becomes documented and that platform tells me that I need to do what I need to do as a Republican to make sure that she's taken care of. We believe that life begins at conception and that all innocent human life is precious and should be protected. We support the reversal of Roe versus Wade and an amendment to the United States Constitution banning abortions except those genuinely needed to save the life of the mother. What part of that don't I understand? I understand it all. At conception. So when you're out knocking on doors trying to come here and represent this body, and you present yourself as a pro-life Republican, remember that paragraph. As you present yourself and, and uh, campaign for higher office, remember, if you're pro-life and you're a Republican, remember what your doctrine says. The Nebraska Republican Party recognizes that our country is enriched with the vast influence of immigrants from all over the world who have come to the United States for unlimited opportunities, freedom, and prosperity offered to every working citizen. We support, welcome, and encourage the assimilation of all legal immigrants and others who are here to do the due process and are productive, law-abiding citizens. In fairness to them, we support stringent federal efforts to stem the tide of illegal immigration. One minute. I do not see that as a conflict because remember the other paragraph at conception? That is now a future resident of the state of Nebraska under the 14th Amendment and of the United States Constitution and of the United States. This is the platform I believe in. Again, I don't mean to alienate my Democratic friends, but if you're pro-life and you're Republican and you haven't read this document, vote the way somebody else would or look in the mirror and vote the way you think you need to. Thank you, Mr.